When you're a kid, you have lots of dreams and things you want to do when you grow up. But you don't feel like you have to do them right away, because you're still growing up. The typical trajectory involves completing your education, attending college, graduating, and only then contemplating the realization of those aspirations. However, there are some youngsters who choose a different path, venturing into entrepreneurship while still in their teenage years. One such example is Ro Bernay. During his teenage years, he started creating a simple but engaging physics puzzle game called Bubble Ball. The game had 156 levels, with puzzles from easy to really hard. Ney finished making it in December 2010 when he was only 14 years old. At first, people didn't expect much from the game because it was simple, and Ney wasn't an expert in that area. But, like it sometimes happens, new and creative ideas can come from places you didn't expect. Surpassing all predictions, Bubble Ball performed exceptionally well in its first two weeks, amassing an astounding 2 million downloads from the App Store alone in such a brief time frame. The app quickly gained momentum, garnering increasing attention, and eventually surpassing 16 million downloads. At one impressive moment, it even took the top spot from Angry Birds as the most popular free game in the Apple App Store. The success story of Robert Ney and the Bubble Ball app serves as a testament to the unpredictable and transformative power of innovative ideas, regardless of initial expectations. Nick DeLoisio, the person behind Sumly, is the second individual on this list who achieved millionaire status through a similar path. Though no longer a teenager, Nick achieved a remarkable milestone, reaching the million-dollar mark at the age of 16. Nick had dabbled in creating basic apps in his younger years, but his breakthrough came with Sumly. Initially named Trimit, the app had a simple yet innovative concept. It utilized an algorithm to condense text, like emails and blog posts, into concise summaries of 1,000, 500, or 140 characters. Sumly gained traction with 100,000 downloads, earning a spot on the App Store. The app caught the attention of business magnate Li Ka Xing, who invested $300,000 in venture capital in the 16-year-old Deloisio. After receiving feedback, Deloisio revamped and rebranded the app as Sumly in December 2011. Sumly aimed to address perceived issues in the presentation of news articles on smartphones. The initial version garnered over 200,000 downloads. Deloisio assembled a team including a natural language processing specialist, to enhance the app. With corporate support, he secured $1 million in new venture funding from celebrities in November 2012. In March 2013, before turning 18, Deloisio sold Sumly to Yahoo for about $30 million. Following this success, he joined Yahoo as a product manager. The story of Nick Deloisio serves as an inspiring example of youthful entrepreneurship and achievement. Sean Belnick. The third person on our list has taken a special path and done better than others in a unique way. Sean started his own business at 14 by creating bizchair.com during a tough time for online companies after the dot-com bubble crash in 2001. Even though many businesses were closing, Sean stayed strong in believing that his idea could work. With nothing to lose but the $500,000 investment from his stepdad, who saw potential in Sean's venture, the 14-year-old entrepreneur embarked on this endeavor with the understanding that even in failure, the experience gained would be invaluable. Surprisingly, the business didn't struggle, instead, it went really high and did amazingly well. Starting small from a bedroom, by 2004, the business had grown to a big 40,000-square-foot place making millions of dollars and turning its founder into a multimillionaire by the age of 17. The success of bizchair.com was rapid and substantial. In 2005, the company reported $13.6 million in sales, followed by a significant increase to $24 million in 2006. By 2007, the total revenue had surged to an impressive $37.5 million, and the subsequent year witnessed an even more remarkable achievement with $42 million in revenue. Sean Belnick's journey exemplifies not only the triumph of perseverance, but also the potential for tremendous success in the face of challenging circumstances. Next on our lineup is Ashley Qualls, who initiated Whatever.com as a pastime at the tender age of 14.
The website's primary focus was to furnish free MySpace layouts and HTML tutorials tailored to her age group, sustained entirely by advertising revenue. Turning her home's basement into her own office, Ashley got her mom and friends from school to help, and she made an amazing $70,000 in just the first few months. This initial success marked only the beginning of her entrepreneurial journey, as she achieved the status of a teenage millionaire by the age of 17. Despite receiving numerous acquisition offers, including a tempting proposition of $1.5 million and the option to choose any car, Ashley Qualls declined them all. This decision may have been influenced by the realization that the value of the car offered, like the Aston Martin Valkyrie, could potentially surpass the monetary amount proposed for her website. It appears as an odd incentive to sway a teenager, and Ashley wisely chose not to be swayed by such offerings. Fortunately, her refusal proved beneficial as the website's visitor count continued to skyrocket. In 2007, Whatever.com boasted over 7 million unique visitors each month, translating into millions of dollars in revenue. Ashley Qualls' story is a testament to the resilience of her entrepreneurial spirit, wisely navigating through tempting offers to sustain and expand the success of her website. Our next entrepreneur is Fraser Doherty, also known as Jam Boy. His journey began by crafting sugar-free jam using his grandmother's recipe, initially selling his creations on a small scale to neighbors and local stores. Uncontent to remain at that level, Fraser aspired to expand the reach of his jam across the entire country, specifically in Britain. To achieve this goal, he approached Waitrose with his proposition, accompanied by his supportive father. Initially met with rejection due to issues with labeling and pricing, Fraser persisted and continued refining his pitch. After multiple attempts, he succeeded in addressing the concerns, leading to an agreement to stock his jam on the shelves of Waitrose stores throughout the UK. The popularity of Fraser's jam soared, securing placements in major retail chains such as Tesco, Sainsbury's, and Morrison's. This success translated into a business turnover of £1 million per year, ultimately propelling him into the ranks of teen millionaires. Fraser Doherty's story showcases the power of determination and resilience in transforming a small-scale venture into a nationwide success. Next on our list is Catherine and David Cook. Upon relocating to New Jersey and enrolling in their new school, Catherine and David Cook discovered the limitations of the traditional yearbook as a means of connecting with people. When Dave couldn't find a good way to meet someone from the yearbook, he came up with the idea to start Meet Me by expressing his wish to date a girl through a photograph. The siblings envisioned an online yearbook, equipped with a tool for members to connect with one another. However, lacking the necessary tools and skills, they engaged a development team from India to bring their concept to life. Within the first week, 400 people joined the platform, and its popularity soared as additional schools joined. In under a year, the user base reached a million. The young business owners were already making millions of dollars when a unique opportunity came their way. Quepasa extended an offer to purchase Meet Me for a staggering $100 million, $18 million in cash and 82 in stock. Many teenagers are making millions, and though this video can't talk about all of them, the important message is that age doesn't stop them. If you're a teenager with a good business idea, it's worth giving it a try especially since the risks are lower compared to when you're an adult with more responsibilities. That concludes today's video. I hope it was informative and beneficial to you. If you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. I welcome your feedback, so feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section below. Lastly, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you don't miss any future videos. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.